everyone for some more of my FIFA 22 Journeyman career mode here with Valencia. And this will be the season 4 finale in this series, and this will be the season finale here at Valencia, at least for the first season here in charge of the Spanish club. But we are here at the uh, uh, Conference League final. I almost forgot what the competition was called. We are up against Olympiacos, who eliminated PSV on a 4-2 to two aggregate in the semifinals. You can see Ramos is going to be the clear winner of the Golden Boot in this competition. And after this, we'll be doing our end of... Um, Season camp, uh, end of season stuff, uh, round up where we get to see the league tables and stat leaders and stuff like that. But before we get into this game against Olympiacos, hope you guys have an awesome day today. Hope you guys doing well. And before we get into this game, which actually I can do that. I can do that whenever we do the round up, but I don't want to waste any time here. I do want to get into this match against Olympiacos. Those Olympiaco kits are nice. The away kits aren't bad, but their 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 home kits are awesome. But we're gonna have the white on this and the red on them. And I know red's a color. Clear skies. Let's see what kind of team Olympiacos has here in store for us. Which yeah, I'll be looking at sunsets and. Marshall's uh, and uh, Barrier Show's development as we do the end of season stuff at the end of the video. But they got Hassan up front, Kamara behind him, Onyaku, Kamara, Pepe, Kumich, Rebchuk, however you pronounce that, uh, Manolas, I rec uh, recognize him alongside Samato, Masuras, and Vaklitch is in goal. So some names I recognize, it, some I don't necessarily recognize, but. I anticipate this being a tough game regardless, so... There is a reason why Olympiacos is in this final, and we're going to find out right now. But yeah, this is the Season 4 finale right here, and like I said, we'll be staying with Val Valencia next season. Next season may be the final season, though I'm not sure yet. As you can see, Orion Sunset is a feature player here. I'd be lying if I said I knew who that was. But here we are at the Stadion Olympic here as we take on the Greek Giants Olympiacos. Oh, excuse me. It always seems to, it, like, I don't know if it's just me, but whenever they're in the Champions League, it always seems like they're being drawn up against Arsenal. I don't know why that is, but it just seems like they just can't catch a break from from the Gunners. And you can see how both teams got here. Lampiakos taking care of Mines, but Shaksha here, and PSV. We took her, uh, Victoria de Gamerais. Uh, Atlanta and Wolves to get here, so you can see that each of us has had a of ah tough opponents here. As I'm trying to get get, are you kidding me? This guy is ah, oh, but no, we cannot start off like this. That guy was literally like doing pee pee steps. Freaking towards my goal, and my guys were doing absolutely nothing. And a shit cross to boot. Oh, this is gonna be a fun final. Baumgartner? I'm not sure who that was that got the head on. I think that might have been Mangala, but my god. My second team is the one has been mainly playing this competition. Yeah, that's that's only his first goal of the competition. I'm not surprised by that because I very rarely play my first team in this competition. I usually play my second. 
Watto leading the charge. What is with the... Guys, learn how to cross, please. Biggest, one of the biggest games at campaign, and you're kind of phoning in right now. It's a gank off. That's not who I wanted to pass it to, but Mangala was right there. Quato is having a howler so far. Now we go to Gankoff hitting that with authority. Oh. I, guys. Guys. That's Zagankov's Se fifth goal in eight matches in this competition. Okay. Pardon, I swear to God, if you were, if you would have lost that, I would have freaking pulled you. Pardon. There you go. Sunset with a goal. Okay. Let's see. Okay, got Salakis, Ba, Fortunus. Those of you that know my, uh, I forget which career mode it was. I I'm telling you guys to remember in here. I don't even remember, but I did have Fortunus in a Fort a uh, previous career. Mode. I think it might have been my whole career mode off camera, my whole city career mode off camera that I did that with. But okay, we got Suarez, Fadiga, Fadiga. How we pronounce it? Ronnie Lopez, who was linked with Newcastle at one point in the past, and then Connie. Aw, oh, guys. Okay, I'm jumping in because I know what's going to happen. It's right before halftime. I'm not doing that same thing three times seeing my guys concede right before halftime. I'm just going to hang on to the ball now. Let's see if we can sc if we can score right before halftime. Nope. Maybe. Nope. Nope. Referee killed it. Okay, let's see. Everybody's in the green so far, so there's really no reason for me to make changes right now. Everybody's playing somewhat decent. Although, I may look to take off Yusuf at some point. I may look to uh, take off Sunset at some point. And I'm, I do want to bring off Mammoth really so Sillison can get some game time before he retires. Let's do the corner. No! Not strong enough header. Oh, can we get behind? There we go. As Poato gets a goal. Horrible mistake by the goalkeeper. By Vaklik. I, I had to remember who it was. Why did the game... Why did the game deselect Sunset without my permission? I wanted Sunset to keep pressure on that. Okay, can we keep... This game's aggravating me. Nice dribble work by Zagankov. Okay. And we get a sixth score. Poato gets another. Poirot and Baumgartner were perfect 10 rating so far.
And I do think I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I'm going to put Mamadish Vili, funnily enough, is our lowest rated player right now. So I'm going to bring on Silison. Silisu at a 7.9 as center back. I usually don't get my center backs with that high rating. There we go, 7 nothing. Sunset with a brace. And I think Yusuf, I'm going to go ahead and take off. I'm going to put Marshall in there. Do I want to bring on Re Rivas in this game, or... I'm not sure what I want to do. Oh! Our front four each, everybody has a perfect 10 rating. Okay, you know what? And Batty Shield will be making way for Angles. I, sh I should have put Comer on the bench instead of Angles, but. I didn't even think about that. That way Comer can get some game time. Okay, can we get an eighth? Can we get an eighth? No, we can't. But I am going to jump in because we are close on time. Can we get a hit? Oh. That's about the closest I'm ever going to get to scoring a corner in this game. There we go. But Marshall gets a, a foot on that. And technically we didn't leave the penalty area, so we did score in a corner there. Yeah, the ball never left the penalty area. So I'm going to count that as scoring from a corner. I am definitely going to count that as scoring from a corner. Absolutely. Okay, we're going to keep the ball now. And I was expecting... I know I know a lot of people say, well, this is a Greek League side that's not even in the game. But I was expecting better competition from Olympiacos in this match. I really was. I mean, they have only... There's only a few times we had to sweat in this game, but other than that, we did... We got the job done. As we kick the ball ahead and we complete the historic trouble here in our first season with Valencia. You can see uh, Ruben Semedo looking dejected. Yeah, Olympiacos, I was expecting them to go out with all guns blazing in this game. And only making a sweat only a couple occasions, but other than that, we got the job done here in the Conference League. And then we'll be beginning our Champions League campaign next season. Of course, if we wouldn't have, if we would not have qualified for the Champions League, we would have got an automatic berth in the Europa League. But I wonder how they do that. Say you qualify for the Champions League, but you win the Conference League. Of course, the Conference League winner automatically goes to the group stage of the Europa League, but since we're going to be in the Champions League automatically, does that mean that the runner-up gets an automatic spot? I, I wonder how that works. I don't know how they do that. Yeah, I'm not sure how they do that, if it, because I don't think anything like that has happened in real life. So I wonder how that would go. I'm going to have to look at the t uh, how... I'm going to look at next season and see. I'm going to keep my eye out on Olympiacos and see whether or not they're in the group stage of the Europa League or not.
Because, of course, yeah, we would be ha in, the, in the Europa League if we weren't already in the Champions League. But I don't know how that works. But we are going to be going to the Champions League next season as trouble winners, as Valencia are your Conference League champions. And next season should be rather exciting. Like I said, I am debating whether or not I'm going to have next season as the final season in this journey, man, career mode. I'm actually leaning towards yes, but I will definitely play. Of course, I say that with all my other ones. I said that with my Hamburg one. I said that with my Newcastle one. I've said that with my Tasmania one, but... I definitely do. This is definitely one career mode I do want to continue off camera if I can. But we are going to go ahead and look at stats. We absolutely dominated possession. We had better dribble success rate. They had better shooting accuracy. We had better passing accuracy. They made five saves, but we pretty much dominated every category in this game. Just take a look at Olympiacos here real quick before I, if the game will let me. There we go. Only only two players with orange ratings are Ahmed Hassan and Agabu Kamara. But Poato ended up getting man of the match, perfect 10 rating with his two goals and one assist. Sunset with the two goals, Sagankov with a goal and two assists, Baumgartner with a goal and assist. Marshall with the goal from the corner, Mangala with the goal, Gaia with an assist, Alisi with an assist. Oh, guys got the job done. And what a way to wrap up season four of this Journeyman Kuma. I could have done a post match interview, but. I mean, they're kind of, EA made the effort of putting them in the game, but they really. They just put them in the game and they're like here. And they really haven't touched them since. Because even in FIFA 23, they're pretty much the same. And I'm not sure what they're like on EAFC 24. I've yet to actually play that game yet but at the time of recording this. So I don't know what the interviewing system is like. That. I'm, I'm going to go on them and say they didn't change a thing. But, but we are going to go ahead. I'm going to save. But as you can see, we did finish as Centurions of La Liga, Atletico Madrid, Barcelona. Levante ended up getting the fourth spot as well. Madrid dropped down to sixth. Sevilla will be playing Europa League, which is their competition. Real Madrid will be playing Conference League, assuming that they didn't win the Champions League. If they won the Champions League, then they'll be in it. But Almeria drops down to ninth after competing for the Champions League spots for the longest time. Relegated signs are Mallorca, Osasuna, and Girona. Girona with only one win this season. A vast departure from what they're doing in real life. But we finished with 33 wins, 2 draws, and 3 losses. Can't believe we're going to be playing alongside Levante in the Champions League. That is wild. Copa de España, of course, was won by us. You can see how the first round went. Set round of 32, the those of you remember, we ended up getting Barcelona right off the freaking bat. Round of 16, we ended up defeating Sevilla, another tough opponent. Quarterfinals, they took it easier on us. We ended up having to defeat Elche. Semifinals, we ended up beating Sociedad. And the VRL, who we faced in the final, ended up beating Mallorca. Super Cup was won by Manchester City at the end of the season and ended up beating our former club, Royal Antwerp. Champions League will be an all Milan final between AC and Inter. Europa League was won by uh, Bayer Leverkusen having an awesome season in real life. They ended up beating Marseille on penalties after a 1-1 draw in normal time. And in the group stage... We end up being perfect, only conceding three goals the entire group stage. And see how the other groups went. Victoria Guimarães finishing at a runners up on their group. Of course, Atalanta, who we played in the round of 16, 
end up winning their group. Wolves ended up winning their group. We ended up facing them in the semifinals. Oh, I'm, I, 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 I missed said I, I meant to say at Atlanta we played in the quarterfinals, not the round of sixteen. Round of sixteen, we ended up taking care of business against Victoria. Sorry about that, everybody. And you, you can see we did end up beating Atlanta in the quarters, Wolves in the semifinals, and then Olympiacos in the final, as you guys just witnessed. So Real Madrid will be taking our place in the Conference League next season. Let's see how our order, how our former clubs are doing. Starting with Hartlepool. Hartlepool finished on top of the league. There we go. It took a couple seasons, but they are in the championship. Looks like they're doing a very good job without us at the helm, as Hartlepool and Rotherham are. Automatically promoted. Luton, Plymouth, Oxford, and Lincoln will be in the uh, promotion playoffs. Cheltenham, Northampton, Bristol Rovers, and Swindon end up getting relegated. Oh, that brings a smile to my face. That is so nice. And we're going to go to Scotland. I know Hearts didn't particularly do... Oh, they ended up finishing second. So they'll, they'll be in the championship now. So they must have bounced back. Because I know at the beginning of the season, they were absolutely dreadful. But they bounced back. They got second. Belgium Pro League, Royal Antwerp finished on top of that. Rather comfortably, too, despite us getting some of their players. But they did finish ahead of Club Bruce. So our former sides are getting the job done here. But I'm going to go ahead and... I'm going to sim... I'm going to send to the second. I didn't catch when the Champions League was. Of course, we got Manager of the Month Award, which is awesome. We do have a 95 manager rating, though I know darn well we didn't complete some of the objectives here, which we end up getting a profit of $215 million. But the thing is, though, we end up we had to sign another crucial player, which we failed to do. There, we end up getting that one. We only replaced two out of three players on the team. Of course, we didn't get that one done. We got both of those done rather convincingly. No need to be finished at Champions League spot, but we won the league, and no need to be reached the quarterfinals, but we end up winning the cup, and we did win the conference league, like the board wanted us to. Take a look at transfer history here. Bunch of players going out on loan. A lot of them going in the Spanish second division, so. And then Acuna going over the uh, Portuguese league. Another one going to Oviedo. Of course, the lock we end up getting in for a swap with Oliveira Gracia. We got in for Demirovic. And you guys have seen this several times, so. No, no point looking at Youth Academy since we no longer have one. Everybody either rejected or... And Salisu is up to an 83. I might just keep Salisu, although, like I said, I may end up having a backup. I may look to move on angles, though. Which means I have to look for a, a center back. But you can see the second team minus Bazunu. Okay, let's see. Who was our top goal scorer here for us? Top goal scorer was Ramos, 32 and 7. A 31 appearance is pretty decent. Plus 2 overall growth. Baumgartner was absolutely fantastic this season. 24 goals, 11 assists, and 48 appearances. 35 goal contributions in that time. Sarnset, 24 and 7 through 38. So he had less contributions than Ramos. In less appearances, he, Sunset had more appearances, though he did grow by four, and that is the main reason why I want to keep Sunset and sell Ramos. Rivas, 20 and 12, this guy was absolutely fantastic for me this season. 
plus 5 growth. Quado grew by 2, 12 and 9. There's anybody else? Gracia only making 7 appearances and yet 15 goal contributions. But I'm just going to keep on scrolling down. If there's anybody that you want to look at, you can go ahead. Yusuf growing by 3, which is fantastic. Marshall growing by 3, which is absolutely fantastic. Bad is still growing by 5. Andre will be leaving us at the end of the season. Bazunu growing by 2. And some of our loan players are growing. We got 375s here. So the future is looking great for some of our guys. Vasquez at a 76. I'm tickled pink about that. And Ketia has not grown, which kind of worries me. Dunlop plus 14, that's because I converted him from a right back to a right winger. Sillison. So We'll be retiring at the end of the season. Thank you for your services to the club. He did get five appearances, though, so it's not like he didn't play at all. Gaia is now up to an 88. And Amamish really grew by 3 to an 84, so he should reach an 85 by the end of next season. And we'll be looking at development plans here. Yeah, he should definitely reach an 85 sometime next season. Three weeks for Bazunu to reach an 80. Oh, let me look at Sillison. Take one final look at the legend himself as he rides off in the sunset into retirement. Okay, Comer. One week as a stopper. I'm going to go ahead and put that on him. He'll reach a 79. Nineteen weeks as a ball playing defender. We'll keep that plan on him. VR. Seven weeks as a stopper. Medium defensive warrior. I will never understand that. I know I've said that multiple times, but I don't know how you can be a center back and have anything other than a high defensive work rate. Yeah, Angles, I've liked him. He did good at Royal Antwerp, and he got the job done here. But I'm thinking about moving him on next season, get possibly a new starting center back. Bad issue, I'm going to keep that on there. Yeah, Salisu, Sally Sue's just going to be just... It's just going to take him too long to reach an 84, so I think he might be my new backup striker starting next season. Which means I'm going to have to look at somebody else to fill that void. Oliver Marshall. 40 weeks on OK for him. I'll take that. Should reach an 80 at some point next season. Of course, prior to, I think he's going out on loan, if I'm not mistaken. I know Gare is. 25 as a playmaker. And that's where I'm going to have him as. Paredes. I'll keep him on that one. Okay, Yusuf. Seven weeks as a ball-winning midfielder. I'll keep him on that. He'll reach an 83 at some point next season. Thirty weeks on okay form. Cunha, six weeks of advanced playmaker. I'll keep him on that one. Oh, that's Vivas. Absolutely fantastic campaign. Ten, ten weeks of advanced playmaker in excellent form. He'll reach an 82 at the beginning of the next season. Baumgartner, let's see. Three weeks as a... Could have him as an attacking midfielder, too. I'm going to put him as attacking midfielder. It's only going to take him three weeks.
Terry, I'm looking at moving on next season. Marcos Andre will be leaving us next season. I forget what team he's going to, but he signed a pre-contract agreement. 61 weeks on excellent form, though. That will probably change at the beginning of the season. 63 weeks on excellent form. That will probably change at the beginning of next season. Okay, let's see. Three weeks, complete strength. I'll put him on that one. Ramos, look at his stance. I look to move him on next season. But there we go. That is our look at the Valencia side at the end of this season. Um, next time I see you guys, will be quite a few. Well, I'm probably not going to begin season three until sometime, uh, season five rather, until sometime in September. But yeah, we'll be seeing you, which it just toggles back. But we'll, see, we'll be seeing you sometime in September. It's whatever we'll be, whoever we'll be playing in the Champions League, we'll be finding out together. And that's where we'll begin Season 5. You also get to see who I signed and who I let go and all that stuff. And um, yeah, hope you guys are looking forward to it. And I can't wait to see how this Valencia side performs next season. So hope you guys are looking forward to that. But thank you guys so much for watching this. Hope you guys are enjoying this series so far. I'll be seeing you guys again next time.